Hi there guys, welcome to my first look walk around of the sensational Yamaha R3 that's all set to launch this December. This is the speedo console has a regular LCD uh, readout with the gear position indicator, the tachometer, the speedometer and the uh, clock and the fuel gauge and all the other relevant information. So what do you think about this R3? This is the black color variant, looks absolutely stunning uh, in black when compared to the blue color variant. And this is not a TFT console. I really wish they had offered a TFT console because this is going to be super expensive as they are saying that this is a completely CBU unit and it's going to be brought to India. The first lot is going to be completely CBUs or completely built units imported from abroad. So it's going to be on the expensive side. LED turn blinkers, LED headlamp, air intake has been offered. It is not RAM air intake, but the central duct uh, does channel the air into the engine compartment to keep it cool. The tail section is reminiscent of the previous generation R3 and the tail lamp has a nice jewel effect to it. It is absolutely identical to the previous gen R3. Tires are Dunlop Sport Max tires, as I told you, because it is a CBU uh, unit. It has the same tires as the international spec variant. Uh, the diamond frame is nice and uh, neatly laid out and offers rock solid stability. 321 cc parallel twin motor that puts out 42 PS of max power and 29.5 Newton meters of max torque comes mated to a six speed gearbox, 37 mm USD forks, uh, and uh, the R3 uh, branding looks absolutely stunning. Three 298mm disc up front and a disc brake at the back with dual channel ABS being offered. Again, uh, you have a neatly laid out swing arm at the back. Uh, the tire is a 140 section tire, monoshock at the back to offer super flickability and agility and great handling characteristics. Seat height is just 780mm, very friendly for average uh, riders here in India. And also ground clearance is ample enough at 160mm. Again, the tail lamp has that nice jewel effect. The, Handlebar is nice, neatly laid out. It is not too aggressive. It is not too upright. It is a mixed bag. You can tour on this bike is what I feel. It uh, reminds us of the R6 to a great degree. So this is the complete overview. What do, you, what do you think should be the pricing? Feel free to comment below and let me know. See you guys next time. God bless. Ride safe.